All right, so just to like set the scene here, it is 12.07 p.m. We're on the 10 in California, which is again, a very popular highway. I mean, my foot is not on the brake and it's not on the accelerator. Obviously, I'm talking with my hands. <laughs> I'm looking at you, and I have no, I mean, I have a general sense of what's happening around me, yeah. but. Oh, it's okay, yeah. so. It's so now you can see the traffic jams that ended. Right, and, and it's so. telling me to take full control of the vehicle, and I also got like a warning on my seatbelt. The drive pilot mode is only operational yeah. um, up to speeds of 40 miles per hour. So you need to be, you know, in a traffic jam under 40 miles per hour on a pre-mapped freeway in California or Nevada. And then you need to have other conditions in that as well. So right, it needs to be daylight, the weather needs to be you know, kind of fair. Once all those factors are met, right, the car is constantly checking to see if conditions are suitable for drive pilot. So Mercedes actually says that if you're in the drive pilot mode, you can read. Yeah. And I'm not really reading because I'm very nervous. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you don't need to be nervous. <laughs> but I can actually read a newspaper because the car is completely operational and yeah. watching out for other vehicles that could potentially cut me off, right? Exactly. We've got three sensor modalities, right? Uh -huh. Radars, cameras, LIDARs, sort of looking at all of the other road users, making sure we can react safely to them. We're making sure that we're in the operational design domain, right? It hasn't started raining, things like that. Uh, and we're going to monitor you to make sure that you would remain receptive to a takeover request. And how many cameras are actually in this thing watching us right now? <laughs> well, so there's there's a stereo infrared driver camera sitting at the top of the instrument cluster. Okay. Uh, so it's basically one camera, but it uses two cameras to be able to see in 3D. So we want to avoid, for example, that you might try to abuse the system, like putting a picture of you. Here, right? <laughs> so, so we need to see 3D to see your face. Okay. Right? I'm going to recline my C all the way yeah, so back. Yeah, first you get this little pre-warning. Yes. Here. I'm gonna go a little bit further here. Whoa, okay. Yeah, now it's like, hey. It's you have to far. take control of the vehicle. Yeah. So that that is one limitation, obviously. You yeah. cannot go to sleep or pretend you're in your lazy chair. It's just crazy. I'm just hanging out in the car, talking to my great passengers, moving my hands, looking over here, looking over here, and I don't have to worry about the car in front of me. I mean, I always have to worry a little bit, right? It's hard to just completely it, I think it's, yeah, give up control to, to a computer. To get used to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the future, I guess, right? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.